Life Positive, February 2023, Banyan Tree, Teaching Story, The Invisible Blessing. Once there lived a saint on earth. He was known for being forgiving, charitable, and generous to the needy. The angel saw him and asked God, Would you grant a miracle to the saint? God replied, First ask him what he wants. The angels returned to earth and asked the saint, God wants to grant you the gift of healing the sick with your touch. The saint replied, No, let God do that. Again the angel said, God wants to grant you the power to turn the guilty soul to its right path. The saint replied, No, that's not my work, it's the angel's work. Again the angel said, God wants to make you a model of patience, and men will get attracted to you by your virtues. The saint replied, If men will get attracted to me, then they will not have faith in God. The angels told the saint that if he will not choose any of the gifts granted by God, then a gift will be forced upon him. The saint thought for a while and said, Okay, then I will do good as before, but you do the miracle without letting me know about it. The angels thought and then blessed the shadow of the saint. Whenever the shadow of the saint fell on the ground, greenery flourished and fresh plants grew. The shadow also had the power to cure patients, relax pain, and remove sorrow. The saint resumed his life as before without knowing that his shadow did all the miracles. He began to be known as the holy shadow. This, I know, Radhanath Swami, whether we fear pain and suffering or not, pain and suffering will come to everyone. Why not keep our minds focused on where we want to go? When spirituality is the basis of your life, it gives you the strength, wisdom, and courage to surmount the many storms of life that could destroy a weaker person who doesn't have this foundation. When love is pure, it has the power to conquer. Lover and beloved conquer each other by their affection. The source, the essence, the fullest manifestation of love's conquering power is the love of the soul for the supreme soul or God. If you love God, you can't hate anything or anyone. If the love one offers is met with hate, it doesn't die, rather, it manifests in the form of compassion. That is universal love. It is not just a sentiment. It cannot be manifested merely by a shift in mental disposition. It can only come from inner cleaning, and inner awakening. We should honor Mother Earth with gratitude, otherwise, our spirituality may become hypocritical. When people, unfortunately, use religion to facilitate their envy, arrogance, and hate, communalism surfaces. Banyan Tree 65 Inspiration Life's Enchanted Garden In Life's Enchanted Garden, many blossoms there to see. And in the center of them all, is life's enchanted tree. The blossoms are the friendships we've encountered through the years helped us through our trials. Had us triumph through our fears the wonders of the center tree. One minute wisdom compassion. Write down how many things you want. Meditate on how many things you need. When you write them down, you will see, with roots stretched deep within is the source that gives us life, and cleansed us from all sin branches wide and outstretched reach out wide to you and me, to comfort our weary souls. From bondage, they set us free. So go to your enchanted garden and there you're sure to find a breath of life's purest air, which will calm your weary mind Mary Carpio, that you want millions of things. When you meditate, you will notice that you need only one thing, and that is God the compassion, God the eternal compassion. Sri Chinmoy, quote, It is in your moments of decision that your destiny is shaped. Tony Robbins, Just for Laughs, Just a Formality, Mullah Nasruddin finally spoke to his girlfriend's father about marrying his daughter. It's a mere formality, I know, said the Mullah, but we thought you would be pleased if I asked. And where did you get the idea? Her father asked, that asking my consent to the marriage was a mere formality. Naturally, from your wife, sir, said Nasruddin.